Residents of Broken Hill are angry, and that's putting it lightly. For more, I'm joined by the Mayor of Broken Hill, Tom Kennedy. Thanks for joining us, uh, Tom. Now, uh, I understand you've got r regular power supplies up and running now. I know they were on and off for a few days, blacked out completely for a while, but on and off of late. But now, now you're up and running? Yeah, look, uh, the last couple of days we've had no uh, power outages, though the surrounding areas of Wilcannia, Menindee, White Cliffs, Tipperborough, so some of those really remote communities, they went off for about another 90 minutes uh, last night. But how did you go black at all, given you've got this big battery, a massive solar farm and a massive wind turbine arrangement, and all backed up by this big battery, when they announced it, AGL said that this battery would look after Broken Hill if there was any line outage, where you had your line outage and you weren't looked after. Yeah, look, uh, there's no way that the renewables at this uh, time are capable of supplying... Um, Hill. We had those renewed energy that Broken Hill would need at any one time, but the reality is uh, you only get power from solar when the sun shines and wind when it's blowing. And the reality is it's not consistent power, so you don't have that post base load power. So for Broken Hill, it's almost useless. So it connects directly into the grid rather than our network. Uh, and the uh, rooftop solar that connects into our network, which is also capable of supplying all the power to Broken Hill, is also not reliable enough and spikes. So it's too too uneven to use for a permanent supply of power. So this was the, the problem. Uh, because they're trying to get the system up and running again, they needed baseload power to do that. And, and the wind power and, and the solar power, even the p solar panels on people's roofs in town, weren't any good. They wanted people not to use those to pump uh, energy into the system. Yeah, because you need a constant uh, source of power. You can't have too much and you can't have too little. And the problem with some of the solar, uh, rooftop solar particularly, that goes into the network, at times it produces too much power. Uh, so some of our big industrial areas were actually asked to run machinery uh, for no purpose other than take some of the power out of the network to make sure that it did not click out the generators, uh, the diesel and petrol generators we have that are supplying the city with power. What a shambles. What an absolute shambles. Thanks so much for joining us, Tom. I appreciate it. Tom Kennedy there, Thank who's you. the mayor of Broken Hill. They've recovered from this disaster, but they'll want a better system next time and those renewables don't do the job.